my name is Crystal. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome old subscribers, welcome new. If you like my videos, please press the like button and please do subscribe. Alexa, what's the time please? The time is 12 12 pm. It's 12 12 pm and I've just got a snack for lunch. Um Basically because I've got high cholesterol and I want to lose weight. I don't want to keep going to the shop and buying sweets, cakes, biscuits. Um, some of the links that doctor sent to me is on how to lose weight. So I'm just having some chips for dinner. Just some microwave chips. They're not fatty, greasy chips. And some daddy's sauce on. McCain chips, quick chips. So I'll finish off those in a moment. Right. The police, the Kent police, are due to come round to my address at 4 pm this afternoon. Alexa, where am I located? Your seven Queens Road flat by Fitz Apartments in Rochester, Kent. Um, if I was describing myself to the police, I would say I'm a 54-year-old white female, right, of straight origin. I'm straight. I'm a heterosexual white female of 54 years of age. I'm going through hell on earth at, mo at the moment. Um... I don't know what's gone on, but it's nothing to do with me. The harassment that I got uh, for two or three days is nothing to do with me. I don't know where it's coming from and who's, uh, got, who's angry with somebody else and has taken it out on me. I don't know. I live in this flat by myself. Nobody else lives here with me. I'm a single woman. I have a dog. I have two cats, as I told the call operator, because people are allergic to pet hair. And they'll start sneezing, coughing, and they won't be able to stay in the room because Max, he sits on my sofa, he sits on my chairs. So I, I was doing it for their benefit. So I said that I have pets. <coughs> Sometimes Max makes me sneeze. <coughs> so I told the police call oper operator, female, that, excuse me, <coughs> every time I eat I get a tickly throat. <coughs> this happens every time I, I eat something. Very dry, tickly throat. But we do have radiators in this flat and it dries the air out and it makes my throat dry and it tickles when I eat. I should drink more water than I do and I don't drink enough water. That could be one of my problems. You're supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day and sometimes I don't even manage one. Right, where was I? So when you're on the phone to somebody, you can hear what's going on in the background, can't you? You can hear conversations with other call operators. And if you call 999 and it's an emergency, I called 101, by the way. Um, I didn't feel that I needed to call 999 because two times that a takeaway driver knocked on my my door, there was two women witnesses. So if he'd have instigated anything or he'd have touched me, there would have been witnesses. I didn't feel in immediate danger, so I rang 101. I was on the phone for about 10 minutes. And as you get through to the 101, it, they give you all, um, why don't you uh, report the crime online? If you think you have a mental health problem, get in touch with the hospital. Something similar to that effect. So they try and put you off ringing the police. 
by putting you on hold for about 10 minutes, telling you to go online and report the crime. So I was on hold for a while, and I went onto the balcony with the phone call. And took the phone on the balcony, took the phone call on the balcony. And I could hear what was going on in the background. And it's all that I write in my diary, which has been going on for the past uh, at least 15 years. So today I've just been observing, I'm staying in my flat, I've got, I've got police officers coming into my flat. The appointment is booked at 4pm. Um, so I'm just in my flat observing. Um, I don't feel like going down Rochester High Street with the cars parked on the pavement, people coming into the shops and going, wanker. I don't feel like that today. I don't feel in the mood for it. So I've sat on and off on the balcony. I've watched car number plates go past, as I did when I was a kid, when my dad was a TV engineer for Granada. And I used to sit in... Granada showrooms, staring out the window while my dad was on the front desk dealing with things, and I would note down number plates. And um, today I've noticed a number plate with Yuck, Y-U-K, which used to park near Costa Coffee when I used to meet my son for a cup of coffee, when I used to walk out of Big's apartments, go to Costa Coffee, there would be a car parked with the number plate YUCK by the travel lodge. I've noticed the number plate OG with X. My father called himself Derek Grog. Derek Grog. So we have an OG car with a big X. OG could stand for OGRE. Og, log, dog, and other derogatory names Og could stand for with a word in, with a letter in front of it. We have had a bald-headed man with a black beard walk up and down the road after I got a message off Facebook dating from someone that was bald. Uh, we've had the number plate nun, N-U-N, a woman that doesn't have sex is called a nun that is married to God, Jesus Christ, a nun, doesn't have sex. So I'm being mocked, made fun of left, right and centre. And I have to, uh, my human rights are being breached. I'm being humiliated every day of my life. And I've had enough of it. I want to know who's instigating it, who's making money from it. And they can compensate me for all the piss taking they've been doing for how long I don't fucking know, but I'm not having it. It's not funny. How would they like it every day of their life? How would they like this done to them? It's not funny, is it? So, I observe. I note things down, I note the times down. My neighbour has gone out this morning, first thing this morning, in his Ford Mondeo. There's a very large guy in the building with a baseball cap, he's enormous, and he's got like a Mercedes, a big long blue car with learner driver plates. And he's gone out in his car and reverse turned his car like the guy upstairs. He's got a big, massive car. I don't drive. I don't have a car. I walk everywhere, take the train or the bus. Um, I don't think it's a funny sense of humour. I think it's wicked, evil, and the person needs locking up for their own safety. Because when I get hold of them, they will need to run. And I mean run!
wears you down, it grinds you down, you get fed up. I want to go to a shop and be left in peace to buy what I want to buy. And come in the shop, oh, wanker! I mean, really, what is wrong with people that they can't leave other people alone? sunshine, go out, even if it's picking a few wild flowers and taking photographs and this person is making every day, every minute, every second of my life miserable. This is not funny. It's sick. It's, it's like torturing animals. It's wrong. And believe you me, whoever you are, you butt plug, I'm going to tear your playhouse down. See you later.